Hey everybody, it's Scott again. Hope everyone's having a really good Thursday afternoon. Let's kick a prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you. And we pray to you. We believe. We believe you're coming soon with God's kingdom and God's judgment. And Lord Jesus, as we know that Ebola is confirmed in the United States of America, we please ask that you educate us and, and protect us from this horrible disease. We ask these things in your name. Amen. All right, everybody. So I mentioned a couple of videos back that I was going to throw together uh, a couple, three, um, what I call biohazard um, suit kits. And so went out, and, of course, went out and did some research. And, you know, uh, when I read reports from, you know, analysts, medical analysts and stuff that are fully understand how dangerous a lot of these diseases are, they're talking like level two, level three biohazard protection gear. So when I went out dinking around online, it's like, OMG, Becky, uh, those are expensive. Level two and three uh, suits start anywhere from like 300 to $3,000. But at the same token, for that level of protection, you would be, to wear all that, you would just consistently and daily be dealing directly with uh, Ebola-infected people. You know, I don't plan on doing that. And also transporting and handling uh, dead Ebola victims. Okay, for the rest of us in this world, outside of the medical community, we're not going to need that kind of protection. So I thought, okay, what can I afford to put together? And so I went out shopping around, and I built three kits. And uh, so I have one for each one of my vehicles, and then one uh, in a bug-up bag here uh, in storage. And I'm just going to, and I'll put the, uh, <clears throat> each description and stuff, I'll put in the box below as far as the part numbers and the, the name brand. And then also, um, every few seconds, the pictures will rotate so you can see what this stuff is. All right, so what I put in these kits is this, full face gas mask. I've got one 3M6898 series mask, one 3M half face gas mask, which is a 6100 series, two types of cartridges, uh, 3M60923, which is the heavy duty organic vapor, acid gas, tear gas, and airborne virus protection, and then um, <clears throat> the smaller equivalent of an N95 respirator mask, uh, 3M2091, and then uh, Tyvek suits. Uh, I got the Tyvek suits. That will completely seal up with the hood and seal up around uh, a full face gas mask. And the brand is a DuPont TY127S. And then, so far as heavy duty gloves, I opted to go with uh, some heavy duty chemical gloves. Uh, uh, the brand 3M90021T. And uh, also goggles. So let's say if you're just going to do an N95 respirator and want eye protection then and not go with the full uh, face gas mask, then you're gonna need some eye protection. And you can just go uh, with goggles, uh, 3M, part number T-E-E-K, Teak, or, or T-E-K-K, -K, sorry, typo. And of course, throw in a box of like uh, 20 um, N95 respirator masks that you can throw out to people. Um, if, if you're in a, in a group. Also, you want to throw in a roll of duct tape in that kit. So if you've got to seal up, you, you've got, you know, heavy duty tape. The other thing uh, I did some research on as well. Also in these kits, throw in a couple, three bottles of rubbing alcohol, a couple, three bottles of um, hydrogen peroxide, a couple, three, you know, 16 ounce hand sanitizers, and uh, and then throw a quart of ammonia. Because granted, these diseases can run rampant inside the human body, outside the human body. These chemicals will kill and, and kill any of that stuff. So you can use that to like just basically wash yourself down, the suit down, tear out of your suit, and then hose yourself down uh, with uh, either some alcohol, uh, peroxide, and you can use the uh, ammonium to clean the mask wash off your, I've opted to go with the Tyvek suits without the attached uh, shoe covers. I figure I'll just, I can use ammonia to disinfect that. So there we go. That's what I've put together. And 
you know, granted, for if I ever get into a situation where I think I'm going to be exposed or close to people affected with uh, a contagious disease, uh, I'm better protected than nothing. Now, keep in mind, again, I'll say that these are not level two or level three uh, uh, protection, but it's absolutely better than nothing. So, I mean, if you plan on dealing directly with uh, dead Ebola bodies or Ebola patients, then yeah, you would definitely go level two, level three. For the rest of us, I think I've put together some suitable kits. And there, that's my two cents on that. <clears throat> okay. With all that being said, as always, man, I'm praying for every single person on this planet. And I pray to Lord Jesus that he uh, fills us with God's Holy Spirit. And, and so we can get right with them because tough times are starting next year, 2015. Trust me on this. And so I'm just praying that we all can get close to God and, you know, before the great tribulation. Okay. Well, as always, be safe. Stay aware, but most importantly, be prepared. I'm out. Ciao.